Hello, this is Dotman, and I'd like to talk a little bit about the Planetary Management plugin that I wrote for Planets New. Planets New, of course, is VGA Planets, the strategy spacefaring game we know and love, ported to the web. And if you're going to win in a game of VGA Planets, uh, it's really important to get your economy going, to maintain your planets, to maximize their output. And I wrote this plugin to kind of help you with that task. So if you load up your turn with the Planetary Management plugin loaded, uh, you'll see you get a new button on your home screen. And if you click on that, that'll bring you into the plugin. The main view is this Planetary Management view. You can see it's a, it's a list view of all the planets that you own. Uh, here they are. You can see the uh, important stats on each planet, the colonists, uh, natives and government, taxes, factories, all of the resource information over here on the right. Uh, but most importantly is these build methods and tax methods. Uh, in here, you can select from various build methods and taxation strategies uh, that will be remembered from turn to turn, and you can apply them each turn just by clicking on this little button, and it's going to go through and do all the, uh, the work for you each turn based on the strategy that you assigned. You can also create your own strategies. You're not stuck with the ones that I give you. You can go into build methods here and create your own build methods. And once you do, using either the wizard or this entry method, they'll get added to the list and you'll be able to select them here. And you can do the same for taxation strategies. Give you a couple different options here to uh, set different tax types at different times and insert your parameters. Add them to the list and you'll be able to apply those taxation strategies to your planets. Another neat feature of the planetary management plugin is the detail view for each planet. If you click on a planet, it's going to bring you to this new detail view, and you can see it's a blown up view of the information on the front page. It's got a little more info. You can see maximum uh, amounts of colonists and natives. Um, it gives you some information here about the resources and how long it's going to take to mine all the resources with the current amount of mines on the planet and other levels of mines. But the neatest thing is the planet predictor. If you go down here, you can see it's going to give you some stats about the planet based on the strategies that you selected right here. And what it's going to do is it's going to take those strategies and apply them for the next 50 turns. And it's going to give you some stats. Uh, this planet's not going to be able to build a star base. It's not going to reach the maximum number of colonists. Uh, and it's going to mine out tritanium in 14 turns. And you can go through and you can kind of see what your planet is going to look like over the next... 50 turns as you apply these strategies. So you can see how things are going to change, how the natives are going to grow, how the colonists are going to grow. Now if we take a look at this planet, one of the neat things you can do with the planet predictor is see how your taxation and building strategies are going to affect the planet over the long term. So I can go down here and see that these natives are going to grow to 7.6 million under this tax strategy and build strategy. I can pop back out here, change my build so that no more buildings are built, and change my native tax to, say, the growth tax, and we can see what that's going to do to the planet over the long term. So this has been a quick overview of the Planetary Management plugin. I hope you find it useful and it helps you get your turns done quicker and dominate the Echo Cluster.